champions, the Anaheim Ducks. And we are rolling in Southern Cal tonight. Two teams looking stark for a win. And we are set to go. The Ducks start with possession as we are now underway. Sends it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Lankinen's been the reason why his team's in the win column. I mean, he's done everything he could between the pipes, as indicated by that save right there. Every time he's between the pipes, he gives his team an opportunity. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Look at the Savardian spin around. only one goal away, James, of his next milestone right here. Puck picked up by McDavid. Oh, my! All alone! Makes the save! Oh, and this is a great save. You can see this one-on-one -on -one battle, and the goaltender is so dialed in, tracking and makes that save. Quick shot! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? For a great new scoring chance, taken away from the inner slot because he's so Plenty of time left in this frame. We're still scoreless. Newton Hopkins wins the faceoff at his own end. Delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Silverberg's going off to the box for two minutes. kill for this team tonight guys and we know their unit it's ranked towards the bottom of the league but this team's confidence can sometimes overpower the skill that they show so let's see what they can get going here right now Edmonton's got it now here's a short pass to Henrique Anaheim's got the puck along the wall quick pass to Darlene makes the save and he got a blocker on it The Oilers grab possession with the puck. Works it across to Skinner. Oh, look at this. Takes a bump but hangs on to the puck. How did he stop that one? Oh, and he lays out to block that, and that'll earn some respect amongst his peers. Tries it to the crease. Oh, what a save of the play. He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Skinner's in a lot of pain here, James, as he's trying to make his way back to the bench. He's injured somewhere in the ship, showing his passion to try and stay committed to the play, but he's got to get off.
Well, the youngster certainly showing that he fits in in the league. That's 10 goals now. Yeah, I mean, you're looking at positive production when you look at his numbers, James. I mean, coming into a league as a rookie, there are so many nuances and ways you've got to find a way to integrate yourself into the game, and he's doing a fantastic job. Rocked on the play. Anaheim's looking to break out. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Now a quick pass to power. Silverberg's penalty is almost expired. And there's another stop. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Well, the man advantage unit might welcome being back at even strength after giving up a shorthanded goal in that power play. Well, that's a tough one for the power play team here, James, giving up a shorty on that one. What matters now is what you do next. Reset, refocus, and attempt to get back in this one. And it's up with an even better save. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. The Ducks have had way more chances offensively, and as a result, they're leading in this one. And they'll start with possession. Zone. 
Anaheim's got a hold of the puck now. Into the offensive zone. Front court blank. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. Skinner's got a tough job to do here. I mean, this is the tough ask of the Scores! Well, that's number two, Pounder. Yeah, he's been all over the puck tonight. He's feeling it. He's confident. You gotta believe he's gonna be looking for that. Return to the game, James. I mean, that injury that he suffered earlier is going to keep him out. This is a tough loss for their team. No, and you clearly kind of know where you stand from a coaching standpoint now, but that is a serious blow to the lineup here for the rest of the game. The Ducks carry it along the wall. Great reach with the poke check. Into the offensive end now, and he gives it over to McCulloch. The Oilers play it along the wing. Moves it to the middle. to try to slow things down here. Niskanen's playing with such confidence right now, and he's got this point streak going, and when that's happening for you, you're having a ton of fun putting up the points. Puck is dropped back underway, and he shimmies around him with the puck. Taken by Terry. Oh, what a stop by Skinner! And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Arvidsson. Edmonton's got the puck against the boards. The Ducks have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Shakes off the defender with some nifty moves. Shuts him down. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so... Puts it off the inside of the iron. Slides it quickly to Kane. Carries the puck inside the neutral zone. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Oh, what a move. Monster blocker stopped by Skinner. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. Takes a wrist shot, and he rings the post! Well, a huge face-off coming up here. Well, you know that you want to gain possession and you want to keep the pressure on because the goaltender is the only one who can't change, and he is the most fatigued guy on the ice. So you want to find ways to get some net front presence, get shot through the net, because, man, he needs a rest. Edmonton's got the puck. Moves it to the offensive zone. Fires it! Gets someone away to keep it from going in. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Nice push. And that goes off the glove and it stays out. McDavid's got it along the boards. The Oilers looking against the half wall. And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. And that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Second period action. Stick around. Defense. 
defensive zone. Close to the sweet spot. Comes up with a monster save in front. Oh, it stops him again. Skinner is giving his team an opportunity to stay in the game. One save after another. He has been under siege. I mean, the save percentage says it all. They have to shore up their defense and stop chasing the game. Pops it away. Excellent hand-eye coordination. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. From the right side, takes the pass. And he sidesteps the check there. Denies him! Skinner's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Ducks all over them tonight. They lead it 5-0. Richards won the draw, and they'll start off on the attack. Blocked in traffic. Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of it with the glove. Oh, wow, stops the game. That's an incredible sequence of saves. He is so dialed in. But I got to say, where are the D boxing out? Icing is the call. We'll get a face up at the other end. The Ducks have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Huge win by the center to give his team an opportunity to get out of the zone after a critical icing. And they keep the pressure on. Quick pass across to Tippett. Oh, and he stopped that rocket! Goldson recovers up and will get a face off. Closer to the midway mark of this period. The Ducks came to play in more than they ever, leading 5 0. Princeton wins it! That's it! He scores! Whoa! Uh, the ultimate power forward move here, James. When you decide you're going to attack the net, you're going to compete and you're going to utilize your will to drive the dot. Just love the shield and love the finish on this play. shoulder to shield the puck and find a way to get to the back of the net. Uh, defenders, I'm stepping out of the way. The Ducks look like a freight train here in period number two, continuing to find offense. Well, there's no question that they're steamrolling their opponent here. I mean, the ice is tilted and it is one way, James. They found a way to maintain possession. How about the shots they're getting on net? Unbelievable. Oh, and he gets a piece of that one to keep it out. Quick feed to Richards. The Ducks take it along the wall. Takes a shot. Oh, what a stop on the play. And it's a quick pass to Dreisaitl. He carries the puck up along the wing. Oh, absolutely hammers him. Chance in front. Big save. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is in that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. The Ducks lead in a big way here in this second. They have been on fire offensively. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And he says no! Hammers a shot! Denies him again! And they go back on the attack in the offensive zone! The Ducks have been the better team tonight by far. I mean, this is coming right off Look of the... Look at this! Two on one! Across the line! Takes a shot! You can see him tap the pad of his goaltender here. He's frustrated with himself, but not much you can do when the puck goes off your skate and in the back of your own net. Edmonton's been outplayed all night, but they finally got something to push back with. Yeah, they get the goal, James, and what I'd really like to see is them be more aggressive now. Listen, they just got one on the board. They've got nothing to lose with a massive deficit. So find a way to create pressure, sustain pressure, and get some shots to net. Shot! 
Way too much congestion blocks that. Moves the puck behind the net. Well, an A for effort at least, right? Yeah, I mean, showing the creative skill set that he has and incredible hands. He tries to get it up onto his stick, and it's a fail, but I gotta like the attempt. Anaheim's across the blue line. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Skinner's gonna hang on for a whistle. Well, this has become the hottest ticket in town, literally another sellout. What can you say? This is an ongoing theme now, Cheryl. It's an ongoing theme because they're on a road and they're playing well, and it's a lot of fun to watch. People want to be in the building to see your next W. The Oilers have it now. Off a stick, and they can't connect. Moves the puck behind the net. And he feeds it down to Yanmark. You've been thunderstruck. Yeah, and you can see and feel that coming, couldn't you, James? And man, that was thunderous. That was a huge hit. Moves it around along the half wall. The Ducks have it behind the cage. Wrist shot from the slot. Stopped with a blocker by Skinner. There's another stop. Just fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive saves. How athletic. here because it's coincidental but it's who the team loses that really matters a little four on four hockey as both teams step inside the face-off circle four on four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage you know that your defense <laughs> exemplifies the critical nature of an ozone face-off, James. When you win it, you own possession and you can attack the net. Anaheim showed no signs of slowing down here tonight, especially what they've been doing in the offensive zone. Yeah, why would you slow down when you can pad your stats? I mean, they've been all over the offensive zone, they're having a ton of fun out there, and they're going to wave right through the bench. Back at the point, they set it up. Here's a blast! Big time stop! Skinner's all over that shot, makes an incredible save, getting to the top of his crease quickly, because that shot, it came fast and in a hurry from the slot. Gains the zone from the right side. The Ducks scoop it up along the boards. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. And he gets a piece of that one and denies it. Here's a shot, and that's blocked away. There's the whistle and a much needed one at that, Cheryl. Well, everyone takes a breath of fresh air here as they're able to reset as they get chaotic in their own zone. They lost their coverage. They get the whistle now. Anaheim's had no short of the scoring opportunities tonight, and they continue to lead here late in period number two. Henrik's gained possession, and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. The Oilers gain the zone. Scooped up along the wall by Dolly. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. the puck in. The Ducks have it now. Sends one up to Johns. Moves the puck along the half wall. Grabbed along the board by Johns. Makes the save on the slapper. Oh, and he pokes it away. A risky play, but it pays off. Here's a short pass to Johns. What a save. He'll probably feel that one. Chances, which is why they lead here late in the second. McDavid's quick stick off the draw wins possession. 
takes the knock, but he's still got the puck. The Ducks gain control of the puck. Johns explores his options behind the net. Stoppage in play. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Play back underway. Oh, and a nice little move. Scoops it up behind the net. A chance. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Michael's known for his creativity, and he tries one too many moves there, and he loses the puck. Setting up behind the net. And that'll bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? The Ducks have a comfortable lead here in the third period in part due to their good habits, and they've been really effective in all three zones all over the ice. Now they just got to bring it home. So managing and protect the puck is everything. on total cruise control early in this third period. Off the draw, snakes around him. Loses the coverage there. He's got a step. Oh, what a save. How many times, James, have we seen him in on a breakaway and connect on it? Not this time, though. A brilliant save by the goaltender. Huge steal in his own end. Anaheim's been stifling their opponent all game long. Just they're right up in their face. They're turning over pucks. He's got a little jump. He's in all alone. What a save on the play. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Delayed penalty coming up here. Shoots in. He scores. And that brings it to 20. He knows that's number 20, James, and that signifies a solid season. He's been consistent. He's found the back of the for this club. It's hard to believe that this was the best option, James. In fact, I never would have considered this as an option because I would have tripped over myself. But to be able to put the puck between your legs and still get a great shot off, unbelievable. Edmonton fan base watching, streaming, taking this one in wherever, probably wondering, where was this earlier? Yeah, it's frustrating for an athlete when you know what you can play like, you know what your team can play like, you just don't perform. But late in the game here, they need goals. They need a pile of them if they even want to have an opportunity to get their tender out of the net. Feeds it to Brink. The Ducks will play it in their own end. Makes a move in front. Nice save from point blank range. Oh, what a collision there. Well, that's just an absolutely huge hit, James. And there's going to be a stoppage in play here because I think that pane of glass is broken. The Ducks have built themselves a sizable lead here early in this third period. going to start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that face-off. From the point, they take control of it. Puts to the point. Denies him in close. Here's a centering pass. And that chance is blocked. And the Tendy's going to hang on and get a whistle here and a reset. Much needed one at that. Oh, yeah. I mean, they have just been taking control of in their own zone, James, and they need reset. They needed the goaltender to pounce on that puck. They can all collect themselves and get a line change. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. The Ducks offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that slides right out to center ice. 
Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Shakes off the coverage. The Ducks gain possession. Can't get a hold of that pass. Change up, change up. And a tenacious effort pays yeah, off as he comes yeah. up with it. And he passes it up ahead to Brink. Cuts to the front. Scores! There's it in a hot goal! This is an outstanding goal, James. The defender had no idea that he was going to pull off the spinorama. I mean, that takes a confident mindset and incredible edge work to be able to pull off. Anaheim's performance tonight still showing no signs of let up here in this third period. Well, they've had such an impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. The Ducks take it from the side. Chris shot from the slot. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. The Ducks have it from their own end. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Moves into the slot. Big time save by Skinner. I absolutely love this save, James. I mean, the shooter's at a point-blank range right in that low slot. And it just taken away. Fran Larceny. Slides the puck to Enroth. Here's a shot. The Ducks don't want to take their foot off the gas here in the third period, but they have a lot of padding with the lead that they've built. Play is back underway here. Here's a blast. Carey's exploring options with the puck. Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. The Oilers have the puck now. And somehow he hangs on. The Oilers play it along the boards. The Ducks take possession in the defensive end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Here he is on the backhand. Big time stop there. I always call this driving the dot, not being afraid to get to the inside of the ice, but it takes a ton of courage and power to fight your way to that spot. He does it, he gets the shot off, but the goaltender has another idea and turns it aside. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Anaheim's on the attack. Driving right to the front. James. I mean, you get an opportunity at one end. Everyone is pushing for the goal. When you miss, though, the quick counter, the speed in transition, it what makes the difference. But you got to capitalize at the other end, and that's exactly what happened. The Oilers are showing a little pride here in the third. And really, that's all that it's about right now. This game is over, and you can see they just want this game and the clock to tick down. They want that final buzzer to go. Off the faceoff here, back underway. Oh, nice little move around him. Oh, look at this. Lugging the puck. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Tiptoes around the poke check. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Takes it to the front. Decides to think about it. Denies it in front. Well, the game certainly isn't predictable, is it? 
it, James, as it's going back and forth. Goals from all areas as players shoot from all angles and attack the zone. The Oilers have it against the wall. Avoids the poke check and maintains possession. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Picked up along the wall by Kane. And the puck leaves the zone. Break away! Oh, and I think he got confused what he was going to do there. You can see him looking at the goaltender, whether he's going to shoot or deke. And while he's thinking, he's running out of real estate. Takes it into the slot. Great save from in tight. Now the shooter's going to run out of real estate.